We always make it easy for our users to verify the things that the AI is telling them with their own eyes. Um, I mean, the AI, just like people, makes mistakes. <laughs> people make mistakes too, by the way. <laughs> we, we, we get people yelling at us when, you know, there's some wrong conclusion on there and it's like, okay, yeah, but also people are wrong too. Um, but so, um, you know, the best result comes from when you use both. And so it's kind of like AI assisted human decision making. And so a great example of that is, let's say the AI says, hey, there's a well pad here. Um, oh, that's unexpected because there wasn't a permit there. Mm, there's no permit, but there's a well pad. I'm not sure that's thing I want to make a bet on yet, but I want to learn a little more. And so we built this thing called Time Machine or Dirt Work Alert Time Machine, where instantly you say, okay, zoom in there and show me what's been happening. And the computer generates within seconds a movie or slideshow that basically shows what was happening in that spot every three to five days going back up to four years. Now, four years old, probably doesn't tell you much, but last year and a half matters. And it gives you that slideshow and you can scroll back and forth just like you were in like a movie editing studio. Oh, move it back, move it forward. Oh, there's some clouds there. Let me move forward back. And it not only gives you the optical imagery, which shows you the well pad and some other, and shows you the roads, but you can switch back and forth between the optical imagery and the infrared imagery and the radar imagery. And so the infrared shows you where's the water and the radar shows you where's the equipment and the optical shows you the roads and the pad and some other things. And so you zoom right in, you move it around. And what happens is someone who's an expert in investing in minerals will now look at what's happening on the surface there the same way they would have if it was their landman coming back or if they'd paid a lot of money to fly a drone there. And now they don't have to do either of those things because they can say, oh, okay, yeah, I see the road pulling up to that pad. Oh, I see the mud pit. I see the frack pond over there, you know, and some other pads nearby that have the permits. Oh, look, I can see the pipeline infrastructure that they're building toward, toward the pad. And so with all that, you weigh that and say, okay, this is really happening. This is for real. Um, I'm going to make that early bet, even though there's no permit there, because I feel very good that the AI was right. And this is an early well pad that was filed before any permit came out. Or maybe you look at it and say, yeah, you know what? This is something else happening there. They're building a storage shed or something, and, and this is not actually a well pad, or there's something else happening here. And I don't, I don't feel good about moving forward on it, or I want to send someone to check it out with their own eyes. Um, but that's, a, that's an important example of how we try to facilitate the human decision-making element. We're not asking people to just, oh, trust the black box and you know, put, your, put, your, put your chips on the table um, and spin. No, you know, we're, we're trying to give people tools to make better decisions. One of those tools is having that AI assist, but it's not the only factor. There's always gonna be a critical role for uh, human judgment and providing data in support of that human judgment, which is just a, a different type of decision-making. Thank <music> you.